If you're in the market for LED headlight bulbs, you've probably seen these 360 degree or three-sided or four-sided LED headlight bulbs. They don't work, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. What you should be looking for is something with just two sides, a very thin centerpiece, and this type of chip. In just a minute, I'm gonna test these 360 degree LED headlight bulbs in a few different headlight housings and show you how bad they really are and why you should stay away from anything with three or four sides. We're gonna put them in different headlight housings and test the brightness with a digital lux meter to show you just how bad the beam pattern is and how much less bright they are than the original halogen bulb. But first, let me explain why. The reason that these bulbs with three or four sides don't work right has to do with the relationship between the light source point and the reflector of the headlight. Let me explain. A headlight housing is designed with reflective surfaces in specific positions to bounce light off of the halogen light bulb. Each one of these little faces is a polished mirror surface. This reflector is designed because they know exactly where the filament is gonna be positioned on the halogen light bulb because all halogen light bulbs are built the same. So if you take a halogen light bulb and you put it into the headlight housing, it's gonna work right. If you have the headlight bulb the wrong way, the mirrors aren't gonna do their job. If you have the bulb too far in, it's not gonna be positioned right. If it's too far out, it's not gonna be positioned right. If the filament is off to one side or this side, the angle from the filament light source to each one of these little mirrors is gonna be out of focus. So it's not just a coincidence that putting the right bulb in the right headlight works. These mirrored reflective surfaces were specifically designed for this light bulb. When you look at a halogen light bulb, what is inside is a wire wound filament and it's extremely small and it's 360 degrees. So it makes sense that somebody might say, well, I wanna use a 360 degree light source LED bulb, but there's a whole nother problem. The filament is one light source. The LED on this one has four and they're different sizes and they're in the wrong spot. When I take this digital caliper and measure the width of this filament, it comes in at 1.45 millimeters. Now if I take the same caliper and measure the width of this LED bulb, it comes in at almost 13 millimeters. That's why it doesn't work. The height of this filament comes in at about four and a half millimeters. The height of this LED light source comes in at about 11 millimeters. So if you put something that's 10 times as wide and three times as tall inside a housing designed for this, you're gonna have multiple out of focus light sources. That's why they don't work. It's impossible to build something like this that works correctly in something designed like this. That's why we look for bulbs like the GTR Lighting Ultra 2. It's not an exact replica of a filament light bulb, but it's about as close as the technology gets us today. If we take one of these bulbs apart, we see a thin dual-sided PCB with an LED chip that looks similar to shape and size of the original halogen bulb. If we measure the width of this light source, it comes in at 4.6 millimeters. That's a lot better than the 360 degree bulb that comes in at almost 13 millimeters. If we look at another example, like the Diode Dynamics SL1, and we take it apart, again, you have a dual-sided PCB with an LED chip that looks in similar shape and size of the halogen bulb. The thickness is three millimeters, 2.92 to be exact. The height of the LED chip is five, 4.97 millimeters, and the width is two millimeters. If you look at the bulb from Xenon Depot, the thickness is 2.68 millimeters. If we measure the Morimoto two-stroke, the thickness comes in at 
three and a half millimeters. All of these two-sided bulbs with little tiny itty bitty LED chipsets work a lot better at mimicking the original halogen footprint of your stock light bulb. Even ones like this that are 360 degree with four sides still can't compete. And I'll demonstrate why. You would think something like this would work, but it doesn't. Here's another interesting example. This bulb with a cone shaped 360 degree, it is way thicker than the original halogen filament is. It's just not gonna work. If your light source doesn't look like the filament shape and it's not positioned in the exact same spot in space in the reflector, it's not gonna work. Instead of having a narrow beam pattern with a single focused hot spot and very little glare above the cutoff, you're gonna have these great big wide and tall beams that have no focus to them and blind everybody else. I'm gonna prove it by first showing you the beam pattern of this halogen bulb and then these five LEDs. We've got the SV4, which is a two-sided LED bulb that does really well. And I have high hopes for this bulb in this Ford Ranger headlight. Then we have this gold four-sided LED. We have this silver three-sided LED. We have this black 360 degree bulb. And we have this silver 360 degree bulb. All four of these three or four sided bulbs are gonna do terrible. I'll prove it to you right now. The original halogen bulb has that typical yellow look and it comes in at 370 maximum lux. Let's see how much better or worse the other bulbs do. This gold four sided LED headlight bulb comes in at 150 maximum lux, a significant decrease in light output and it creates a blinding wall of light. This is not useful at all. If you think this bulb is gonna work for you, you're wrong. This silver three-sided light comes in at 320 maximum lux, a little better than the last one, but still less bright than stock, and this beam pattern is terrible. It is adjustable, but even the adjusted state doesn't look good. There's no way this bulb's gonna work in a reflector headlight. Now let's try this black 360 degree light output bulb. It comes in at 570 maximum lux, so technically it's brighter, but this beam pattern is completely worthless. It's also adjustable. So when I move it, it looks like this. There's no good beam pattern. What we're looking for is something that mimics the original halogen bulb, not something that creates a blinding wall of light. This won't be bright for you and it'll be annoying to everybody else. This black and silver four-sided bulb with the tiny LED chips comes in at 450 maximum lux, but again, the beam pattern is all out of whack. There's a dark shadow in the middle and the whole thing is way too high with no distinguishable hot spot. Let me show you what a bulb is supposed to look like. Here is the SV4 coming in at 1,432 maximum lux. This thing's got the focus beam pattern, it's got the left to right spread we're looking for, and overall it looks like the original halogen bulb. This just goes to show that more LEDs aren't better, the goal is precision and alignment. Now if you have a dual beam headlight, like an H4, H13, or 9007, and you've got a headlight like this that takes one bulb to do both low beam and high beam, your halogen bulb is gonna have two filaments inside of it. So let's test that too. I've got this black three-sided LED bulb, and I've got a two-sided bulb from GTR Lighting. The halogen bulb comes in at 320 maximum lux in this test, and the beam pattern looks about how you'd expect it. The brightest part is a concentrated hot spot at the top center of the beam, and it's not very tall. Let's see how the three-sided bulb compares. This black three-sided LED headlight bulb comes in at 520 maximum lux. Definitely improvement over stock and brightness, but the beam pattern is a little bit more diffused than it should be. Look at the difference between the low beam and high beam. The high beam really doesn't give you anything, and that's because the LED chips are in the wrong position inside the headlight. Now let's try a two-sided H13. Now this is what we're looking for in an LED headlight bulb. It keeps the same shape as the original halogen bulb. It's not too tall. 
the hot spot is in exactly the right spot, and this thing comes in at 1,100 maximum lux. This is a massive improvement over both the halogen bulb and that three-sided bulb we just tested. Also, when you've got a bulb that's designed correctly, your high beam works too. If you want something that's going to help you see better at night, you're going to want to go with something like this. Now, if you've got a projector halogen headlight, it's the same deal. These three and four sided bulbs don't work. First, I'll show you the halogen. Then we're going to jump into the Diode Dynamics SL1, the Xenon Depot Extreme LED Pro, and then I've got this all-in-one built-in driver three sided bulb. I've got this red four sided bulb and I've got this kind of gunmetal three sided bulb with a square base. The original halogen bulb in this projector headlight came in at 210 maximum lux. What we're going to be looking for with the LED bulbs is to mimic this beam pattern. You can see the bright spot centered in the middle near the top and there's a very sharp defined cutoff line. If we don't have any of that, the bulbs don't work. This silver three-sided bulb comes in at only 90 maximum lux, and the beam pattern is terrible. Not only is there no hot spot in the middle, which is what allows you to see down the road in front of you, the sides are curved up, which indicates that the whole thing is wildly out of focus. This red four-sided LED bulb comes in at only 60 maximum lux, with an out of focus beam and no hot spot at all. This bulb would be extremely unsafe to drive with because the brightness is only one fourth of the original halogen bulb, let alone the bad beam pattern. This gunmetal colored LED bulb comes in at 70 maximum lux, which is way less bright than the original bulb. Again, it's less bright than halogen, there's no hot spot, and the beam pattern's all out of focus. Here's the Diode Dynamics SL1 coming in at 350 maximum lux. It retains that cutoff line, it retains the hot spot, and it's brighter than stock. This would be a good option if you've got projector headlights. Here is the Xenon Depot Extreme LED Pro headlight bulb coming in at 400 maximum lux. We retain the original shape of the beam pattern and you've got the hot spot and the cutoff line. Perfect. There you have it. What more proof do you need? If you got a bulb like this with multiple three or four sided LEDs, it's not going to work. And if you see somebody saying, what do you think about these bulbs? What do you think about these bulbs? I'm thinking about getting these bulbs because they're cheap and they look cool. Show them this video. Do your friends a favor. Don't let them buy this kind of 360 degree light output bulb. What you should be looking for is the Dow Dynamics SL1, the Xenon Depot Extreme LED Pro, the SV4, the GTR Lighting Ultra 2, or really anything that has the same characteristics of these two-sided bulbs. You need this kind of an LED chip. You need the narrow build. You need the right position inside the housing. There you go. Three-sided, four-sided bulbs don't work. If you wanna learn more about what's best for your next project, subscribe so you don't miss our next video. We've got tons of videos on all kinds of vehicles and automotive lighting.